The games industry as a whole seems to have suddenly realized that remaking games is more often than not a successful venture. Like any idea that catches on, that has led to a little bit of saturation, with a number of examples of games getting remakes even if they don't need one. But more often than not, the remakes that do end up getting made are exciting reimaginations of classics. The 2000s decade is quickly becoming the prime era for companies to look at games that can be modernized and brought forward to contemporary audiences. And here, we're going to take a look at a few games from that period that we feel should be remade. Given the nature of this feature, we'll obviously be avoiding talking about games that are already strongly rumored to be getting remakes or remasters, so if you notice omissions like Metal Gear Solid 3 and the like, that's why. Deus Ex The Embracer Group will soon finalize the acquisition of the vast majority of Square Enix's North American business, which will include the Deus Ex IP and the studio responsible for it as well. And while that acquisition is, of course, going to lead to a new Deus Ex game down the line, the Embracer Group has made it clear that it might develop remakes in its newly acquired franchises as well. And a remake of the original Deus Ex would honestly be perfect at this point in time. The game was absolutely legendary when it came out and remains an all-time classic to this day. But like any game from that period, it hasn't aged particularly well. Remaking it from scratch with modern day visuals, a large world to explore, and gameplay mechanics that are more in line with human revolution and mankind divided would be an exciting prospect. Resident Evil Code Veronica You knew this was going to be in here, right? Capcom has been going through the Resident Evil series bit by bit as it remakes its earlier mainline games. After RE2 and 3, next year we'll see the launch of the Resident Evil 4 remake. Though, as many people have pointed out, based on the series' chronology and on the importance it has in that chronology, Code Veronica should have been remade before that. It's a game that's in far greater need of a remake than RE4 is after all, so hopefully once we're past RE4, Capcom will look at Code Veronica next, rather than jumping straight into Resident Evil 5, which is in even less of a need of a remake than its numbered predecessor. Ninja Gaiden For fans of the character action game, the 2004 Ninja Gaiden reboot remains an absolutely legendary game. Mechanically, in fact, many will argue that the game is still unimpeachable, still an absolute blast to get back to. Then again, many would argue that given the progress that the character action genre has made since then, a remake of Ninja Gaiden could improve an already stellar experience. We did recently get a remaster of the title, though it disappointed fans for more than a few reasons. With Team Ninja flying high right now, though, there's never been a better time to go back to an older classic and revitalize it with improved visuals and gameplay. Eco Team Eco's trilogy of PlayStation exclusives has gone down in history as some of the best, most unique games of all time. And while Shadow of the Colossus gets most of the plaudits out of those three games, its spiritual successor Eco also has an unshakable legacy. Going back to it now, however, it's a little difficult because the game, which already felt a little rough around the edges when it first launched over two decades ago, has no few gameplay elements that have aged poorly. From its visuals to the way it plays, Eco could benefit massively from a ground-up remake. Hopefully Bluepoint Games, who remade Shadow of the Colossus for the PS4 and are now a first-party PlayStation studio, will eventually turn their attention to Eco. Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Wait, you might be thinking, why Portable Ops of all games? And we know what you mean. After all, there's no shortage of Metal Gear Solid games from the 2000s decade that we could have spoken about, right? Why Portable Ops then? There's a couple of reasons. The first, of course, is that it's an excellent game in its own right. Back when it launched, it was very rightly praised for being a proper Metal Gear experience on the go. And seeing it get fleshed out in the current market with a full-blown budget would only improve it even further. On top of that, meanwhile, Portable Ops also has a very strange place in the series' canon, where some consider it to be part of that canon and others don't. Hideo Kojima famously belongs to that former group, but at one point he very much didn't, and the game itself tells a story that fills in a lot of the gaps in the series' overarching story. So we may say remake Portable Ops and make it an official part of the Metal Gear saga. Of course, there's less than zero chance that that actually happens, but hey, no harm in dreaming about it, right? Grand Theft Auto San Andreas 
It wasn't too long ago that Rockstar remastered San Andreas and the other two PS2-era GTA games for modern platforms, and boy oh boy did that not go well. Why bring it up here then? Well, because for starters, we're talking about remakes, not remasters. San Andreas, given its massive legacy, is the sort of game that deserves that sort of treatment, a big-budget treatment that refurbishes the entire experience from top to bottom, remakes it in the modern-era GTA style, in a new engine, and truly helps its gameplay and narrative excellence shine as bright as we remember from back when the game first launched. If recent reports are to be believed, Rockstar has no intention of doing such a thing for the foreseeable future, but hopefully once they're done with GTA 6, they'll turn their attention back to their back catalog. Speaking of which... Grand Theft Auto 4 Grand Theft Auto 4 has, unfortunately, become something of a black sheep in the GTA family, at least in Rockstar's eyes. Tonally, it was very different from the games that preceded it, and the one that followed it, but as the tens of millions who've played it will tell you, it was still a heck of a game. In fact, going back to it today, it still is, having aged surprisingly well. Touch it up with modern-day visual standards, and it could easily pass as a completely new game. A hypothetical GTA 4 remake wouldn't need to be very comprehensive, which is exactly why we're hoping Rockstar will eventually see the sense in bringing the open-world crime epic back into the limelight. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 Fans of skateboarding games have been treated to a resurgence of the genre as of late, with remakes of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 having been a huge part of that. But while there's plenty more skateboarding games coming up to look forward to, including the likes of Skate and Session, it doesn't seem like we'll get more Tony Hawk remakes. If recent reports are anything to go by, Activision has shelved those plans, which is just a big bummer. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and 4 were stellar titles that could have benefited hugely from the sort of remake treatment their predecessors got, so hopefully once Microsoft has bought out Activision, it'll decide to revive those remake projects once again. Manhunt Let's turn our attention back to Rockstar one final time, because there's plenty of games in the company's back catalog from the 2000s that we feel could benefit hugely from getting remade. One of those is Manhunt, a controversial yet beloved game in more ways than one. Like many other games from that era and on this list, it's a little hard to go back to now and can feel more than a little rough around the edges, but with state-of-the-art modern-day visuals and gameplay improvements, it could become a genre-defining experience once again. Will it ever happen, though? Sadly, almost definitely not. Lost Planet Capcom was struggling a little bit back in the late 2000s, and its output was inconsistent at best. Lost Planet, however, was probably one of its better games. No, it wasn't perfect by any means, in fact it was really quite flawed, but it has garnered a bit of a cult following over the years and for good reason. The franchise is dead in the water at this point, but Capcom is the sort of company that seems more than willing to bring back games and franchises that haven't been active for a long time, so why not bring back Lost Planet? If they want a third-person shooter on the market that could easily capture the single-player and multiplayer markets simultaneously, a reimagining of the original Lost Planet with some tweaks and additions here and there would be a damn good candidate. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.